Hypertext Markup Language, or HTML, is a language that defines the structure of content on a web page. Development started in 1989 at CERN by Tim Berners-Lee, who had just invented the world's first web browser, World Wide Web, the origin of WWW, but he needed a publishing language to display content within it. So he chose a syntax based on the standard generalized markup language, which uses opening and closing tags to provide meaning to otherwise unorganized text, like H for heading, P for for paragraph, and most importantly, A for anchor to link to a different web page. The language underwent many changes during the initial rise of the internet, and was standardized as HTML5 in 2008, the version we know and love today. Modern HTML contains tags to handle a variety of different media types, like video, audio, and canvas to draw custom graphics on the fly. The typical HTML element starts with an opening and closing tag. In the middle, we have content, which might be text, or additional HTML elements called children. The opening tag may also have one or more attributes, which are key value pairs that can customize the appearance or behavior of the element. To build your first web page, create a file named index.html. This file contains a hierarchy of nodes based on the document object model, or DOM. A web page starts with an HTML tag and has exactly two children a head and a body. The head contains things that aren't directly shown in the web page, like a title or a meta tag to give the page a description. But notice how the meta element has no closing tag. Closing tags are generally optional when an element is fully self-contained. The body contains the actual UI for the end user. We might start with an H1 heading followed by a paragraph of content. To add an image, we use an image tag, which you'll notice is self-closing. Then define the source attribute as the file path to the image, and you'll want to give an old description to make it accessible to robots and screen readers. What makes web pages revolutionary, though, is their ability to link to other web pages on the information superhighway. Use an anchor tag to create a link, then define the href attribute as the web page that you want to navigate to when clicked. HTML also provides structural tags like division, or div, which are often used to group elements together where they can be styled to represent complex UI elements like navbars. When you're happy with your code, grab the full file path to the HTML file and paste it in to any web browser. Congratulations, you just built your first website. This has been Hypertext Markup Language in 100 seconds. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the upcoming sequels. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.